I want to hear a story, any story that comes to mind. New coach is coming in. It's Nick Saban. He obviously had success prior to coming to Alabama, but it's still a new coach. You're unproven uh, to this point in your career, right? I mean, you hadn't, you maybe played a little bit, maybe not. I don't, I don't remember, but what is your first kind of example or story of Nick Saban getting hired? He comes on campus, right? Cause I, I remember when Lincoln Riley got hired, right. at OU, you know, I'm bouncing in my shoes, I'm waiting and I've got great stories about how he calmed everybody down. He talked about mentality over playbook and all these types of things that allowed us to really buy in and believe in him. So obviously Saban's gone on, he's done amazing things and the rest is history. But when he stepped foot on campus, what was it like? Well, I mean, it was, I mean, he was a rock star, obviously, um, from day one. And he's not a big guy in stature, but he, like, he feels huge when he walks into the room. Like when it walks into the room, the whole place goes silent. You can hear a pin drop. And it's, it's pretty remarkable, the attention that he commanded. Now, he's gotten soft in his, in his older age. Like, back in our day, we used to get ripped every day. Like, every day, ripped to shreds. I don't think I had a name until, like, my third year. I was 17 my first year, and then my next couple of years I was 12. Uh, and I don't think he referred to me as Greg or McElroy until about year two. Uh, when I had earned his respect at that point, <laughs> having gone through a couple off-season programs. Uh, still to this day, the first off-season, we do what they call the fourth quarter program. I'm sure y'all have some variants of this. Like everyone has the same thing. Do y'all call it fourth quarter too? <laughs> I think everyone call calls it. Coaches, coaches stations. And <laughs> it was horrible. That was all horrible. it was. It was like plyos. It was awful. Oh, it was Matt drills, the whole nine oh, yards. Awful. Bryce, what did y'all call it fourth quarter? Uh, that's yeah, it's exactly what we called it. Of course. And I think three quarters of the country calls it fourth quarter, <laughs> but the, I'll never forget this. Kevin Steele, who is formerly, uh, the defensive coordinator at Auburn was with us at Alabama there for the first couple of years. He told me, Greg, I'm not going to lie. I thought, I thought the whole team was going to die on the field. Like, I <laughs> thought y'all were all going to die. Because we pushed y'all so hard, that first fourth quarter program, it was unbelievable. So the first day, the first day, we had literally seven guys walk out of the indoor facility. Scholarship guys, walk out. Say, I'm done. I'm not doing this. This is not what I signed up for. We ran, we ran 36 110s the first day. 36. Oh, oh, that brings back horrible memories. <laughs> We had to run, and no one made your time. So, like, if you made a time or if you touched your knee, like, another one. It was supposed to be 16, but it just kept at more and more and more. We had 36 110s. By the last couple 110s, we literally probably were running in 27 seconds. Like, we did 30 <laughs> seconds just at the big like end. dying trying to get from one end of the field to the other. And I remember we did that for six weeks. Mm. Six weeks. The longest they've gone since that fourth quarter program, three weeks. <laughs> it was twice as long as the longest. And it's amazing to me that when you look back at that season, we were so beaten into the ground. We lost our last four games of that season, including a loss to Louisiana Monroe in 2007. So, yeah, we were a little beat up at that point. But you knew if you could survive the first fourth quarter program, which not many of us did, if you could survive the first, the fourth quarter program, then uh, you knew you're going to have a bunch of guys that would at least fight. <laughs> you know, we might not have been any good, but we we're going to fight. Uh, uh, that's amazing. You know, that's that's, that's sure. that that old school mentality, right? I mean, that is Dude, was, some of my, I can't some believe, of my like still thinking back to like what you had to put your body through, like the and it was purely a weeding out process. Like it was a hundred percent. Like if you aren't going to be able to do this, you're probably not good enough to, because we're just going to recruit guys that are better than you. So like, you're probably not going to last here anyways. Like we'll just run you off now. And so it was, it was unbelievable. We had to go through that first year uh, as far as fourth quarter programming conditioning is concerned. And Kevin Steele said the best, Greg, I thought y'all were all going to die. <laughs> <laughs> so, but if you make it through that, you get to go win national championships. Uh, right sunset and, and it's the easy now they got it easy like it's all it always gets easier as we get older right like oh the guys have it so easy nowadays 
You know, they only practice nine days in pads in fall camp. Nine. Yeah. No, no such thing as two days anymore. <laughs> no, no two days. They got it yeah. easy. 